Hey, so this is Admin from Plexcat. So we're here to talk about AirSonic. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I have not personally used it much, but it was actually interesting in thoroughly going through it. So this is part of the 7.5 upgrade, rewrite, wiki focus series. So uh, a lot of the core components of Plexcat have been pretty much set. Um, and now it's time to go through the apps. So right here, you can see a better well-established wiki for it with some more information and things that I discover will continuously go on here. Um, and I've actually had users ask questions about it and I had no idea. Um, AirSonic is actually pretty useful as a, you can use it as a web player, you can uh, hook up to it as a media server. Um, it may be useful because you don't always want to use Plex or, uh, you know what, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know anything about MB with music controls, but um, you can actually create users and, and everything else. And you can stream this as a web player. So, you know, you can access your thing like airsonic.boom.com uh, because Plex may be a block keyword um, and, and access your music. So it's actually uh, pretty cool. So in order to deploy AirSonic, we're just gonna go, like I said, we already got this loaded up. We're gonna go to PGBox app installer and then we're gonna just type AirSonic and then we're gonna hit enter. And then, cause that's the only thing de we're deploying, we're gonna hit deploy. And it's gonna go ahead and install the Docker container for AirSonic. Um, as you can see right here, in order to access it, you can access it via uh, your domain. So like airsonic.domain, whatever your domain is, .com. And then you can also access it via port 4040. As long as you have your domain pointing to your IP addresses, you can access it this way. Not really the best way to do it. And you can see that the information is here too. And um, you can obviously access it you know, via IP address 4040. So when you load up Airsonic for the first time, it's gonna be, uh, let's just go ahead and bring it up right now. So we're gonna go ahead and type 4040 and hopefully it comes up there you go so the default username and password as per the guide is admin and then admin so go ahead and hit login maybe I was tracking something else before okay um, it's gonna give you this nice warno about everything and I thought I deleted my information but okay it looks like it <laughs> It looks like I remembered it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is when you log in, you're gonna go to settings, and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go to users. So I think I think the browser had some cache stuff because it looks like it's not set up. Um, and you're gonna go to admin, and then you're gonna change your password. That's the first thing you should do, right? Definitely if it's on the internet, you know how the internet is. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is you can obviously create a new user. So uh, for purposes now, we're not gonna do that, but you can. So if you can log in as a different user, if you don't, it, uh, AirSonic will nag you to death about uh, why you shouldn't be the admin user, which which makes sense from a security standpoint. Um, in order to um, add your music, you're basically gonna to have to go to, let's see, where was it at here? Actually, I was just in it earlier too. No, it wasn't shared media. Nope, general media folder stuff. So you can name it whatever you want here. And then what you're gonna do is by default, you're gonna start with union FS. You're not gonna do mount. So if you look at the container the way it's written, I just did union FS. And then obviously my next folder is gonna be music. So you're gonna basically go down this path wherever your music's located. So as long as it's within union FS, you're good to go. Um, go ahead, hit save. And one thing I noticed that um, when you add it, it may take like up to a minute for it to properly work. And the reason I say that is, is because uh, either UnionFS is catching up or it's, it's scanning it as you can see right here. So we're gonna go ahead and give it that um, minute to do so. Here's your DLN, DLNA UPNP um, option. So you can go ahead and click this right here. And if you wanna, um, have AirSonic advertised so your PlayStation can pick it up, you can do that. You can also click Sonos right here and say enable Sonos as a music service. So I personally have Sonos and uh, that, that wouldn't be a bad option at all. And it even has transcoding and other abilities. So this really gets down into the weeds if you really want to. See, so let's see if anything has come up yet. And if not, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video because it does take about a minute for it to come up from what I noticed before. Alrighty. So actually, while I got you here, 
let's look at the container for it. So this is actually useful. So when you go to, Air, you'll see AirSonic right here. If you want to look into what AirSonic's doing, first, well, actually, let's look at how it's configured. If you look at how Airson is configured, these are the folders right here. So on your computer, you have Mount Union FS, but you notice that the path starts off as Union FS. It's part of the reason why you have to do that start Union FS thing. It just tried to cut this out. Um, but you notice that we have, um, if I kind of set it up where if you were lazy and you just have music, you can see that it already kind of points to it. So uh, by default, so there's there's different things you can do. Okay. In order to make sure that you're seeing everything correctly, you're going to click this thousand, thousand, and then you're going to hit connect. And what you notice here is, is that it allows you to basically see the container for what it is. A lot of people don't know you can use it. So you can use this for troubleshooting. See, and like I said, I'll probably pause this in a second, but just to make sure that you're not losing your mind, you can type CD and then um, union FS or actually yeah and then LSLA and you notice that the files come up here see so it's a good way to make sure that you're not losing your mind also CD union FS so this is where I stored the music and it's a bunch of Final Fantasy 15 stuff as you, as you notice that my character is from Final Fantasy 15 good stuff all right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and then when it, when it comes up, we're going to go ahead and uh, do a demo. Okay, so I found something interesting that might be useful, and I'm going to put it in the wiki. But if you look here, you see where it says if you go to settings, media folders, fast access, make sure you turn that on. It actually does make a difference um, because what happens is while it was scanning, it doesn't play right away. So once you turn it on, you're pretty much good to go. And now with the music up, we can go ahead and test something out working. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit something on the left. You know how it is when you do demos, right? <laughs> so it looks like everything plays well. So pretty good stuff. Good program. I just wish I knew about the fast option. But it kind of makes sense. You're dealing with a, a, a cloud server type thing. So who knows how in deep that scanning is. So yeah. Check it out. Have a good one. Bye.